Welcome back, everybody. Now, you've probably heard about the ShamWow, which has been advertised for years, but they've recently been advertising the ShamWow mask, which I just got in the mail. I'm going to crack this open and see if it actually works. That's today's video. All right, guys, just came in the mail. Have not even opened it yet. Let's check it out. All right, here we go. Oh, wait, I thought there was going to be... It's not... There's no packaging. It's just in the bag. There's, there's no retail packaging whatsoever. It's just an invoice and, and some instructions. Well, let me see here. It looks, I mean, it looks like a sham. Well, let me see. So there it is. I love how they put the logo right across the front. So you're going to be telling everybody you have a ShamWow mask. The material looks pretty similar. This is an unused ShamWow, never been used. On the other side, it's supposed to be a cotton liner. It feels nice and soft. So the commercial says that it's infused with zinc and has non-woven fibers with a cotton inner liner. They say it's German material, crafted in the USA, and they specifically say not made in China. Interesting, they actually include... I have this already. This came with my original ShamWow. They just had the regular ShamWow instructions. And then they just kind of added this extra insert, which is the ShamWow mask. Let's see what the mask says. One size fits all mask. They say that the ear band can be shortened by cutting it and tying it. That's pretty high tech. If you do cut the knot, they say you can pull it through here and hide it within this section. I guess that I guess that'll work. It can be hand washed or machine washed and lay flat to dry, just like the original ShamWow, which they say you're not supposed to, to dry those either. Although I did, and it did shrink. So I think this would shrink if you actually dried it. There's also a disclaimer that it's that it makes no claims it will stop or prevent you from or heal you from the coronavirus. Now, according to the website, these are 100% viscose polypropylene, thermally bonded non-woven cloth, which contains zinc, which they say can help stop microbes. Now, I have a copy of their frequently asked questions, which states, in laboratory tests, some bacteria or germs were impeded from spreading by 99% because of the zinc in the ShamWow. And they have a link on the website to what they're talking about. That link mentions zinc pyrithione, which possibly is effective against bacteria and fungi and not against viruses. So, it, so I'm not really sure that zinc really helps much. Let me just try this on and see how it feels. I had it on less than a second and this tag was already bothering me. That tag's gotta go. All right, let's try this again. Oh, well, it's a large mask. What's up with the logo right there? Come on, man. Well, it feels comfortable. I'll, I'll give them that. And uh, it's it's a nice size mask and the ear bands aren't very tight. And not, not too loose, but not too tight either. So, you know, first first use feels pretty good. I also wanted to point out when I bought the ShamWow mask, you know, most of these websites, they try to upsell you after you check out, but they didn't just try to upsell me one time or two times. They tried to upsell me six times. That's right. I, in fact, I took screenshots of all six of them to show you what their upsells were. So the first time after I clicked check out, I got hit with buy more and save. And the second one after I said no was to buy the regular ShamWow at wholesale pricing. After saying no to that one, it was an employee discount for the regular ShamWow. Number four was the kids' ShamWow mask. Once again, I clicked no on that one, so I got number five, which was the ShamWow mitts, which I never heard of before. And finally, after saying no to that one, I got hit with the I want priority handling, which I said no to as well. I did order it, um, and I got it six days later, which really isn't that bad. So I don't know if the priority handling would have done much for me. I paid 30 bucks for these two with a uh, free shipping. So, I mean, I don't, you guys can tell me if that's a good deal or not. I, I, it seems a bit high, but 15 bucks a piece for these? I don't know. Something else I noticed is that after I bought the ShamWow mask, suddenly every time I went to a website, I was getting ShamWow mask ads. In fact, look at this screenshot. I have the content blurred out, but I had three ShamWow mask ads at the same time. It's like, I get it, ShamWow mask. I did go to your website. Let me compare this to another mask that I have. This is one that I've been wearing. I bought a, uh, a five pack of these on Amazon, I think for 10 bucks. This is the mask I usually wear. It's a little bit small though. It's a little bit smaller and the ear bands pull my ears a little bit. So this one, I'm not, I'm not as happy with this one as I would have liked. A lot of people buy these disposable surgical masks, which th this is fine, but they're disposable and you really can't reuse them. So the ShamWow mask, just in comparison, it's much heavier, which I actually is a good thing. I don't think that it's not so it's not weighing my head down or anything, but it's actually it's actually a pretty well made feeling mask. So I think that, you know, initial impression is pretty good. I hate the logo in the front there. Why would they put that there? That's so cheesy. 
Come on now. But I digress. I actually have some errands I have to run today, so I'm gonna use my ShamWow mask. I might be embarrassed with ShamWow across my face, but I'm gonna do it anyways. But I'm gonna try it out today and see how it actually works. And maybe I can come up with some other tests as well. Let's see how absorbent the mask is versus the original ShamWow, and maybe versus a few other masks too. The first thing I gotta do is cut out this ShamWow so it matches the right size. Now we've got a pretty close approximation of the ShamWow mask and the original ShamWow, roughly the same shape. It's, pre it's pretty close. Testing absorbency can be a little bit tricky, and again, it's not a scientific test. I know, you're, I know there's gonna be comments saying I should have done things differently. It's just a fun test, all right? Just don't take it too seriously. So I'm gonna put the ShamWow in the water. I'm gonna let it drip dry until it's done dripping, and then see how much water came out. All right, it's mostly done dripping. The original ShamWow, that's about, it's about a quarter of a cup. Not bad. Let's try the mask. All right, it's done dripping, let's see. It's, it's pretty close. It's, I mean, again, it's, it's, not, it's not a serious scientific test, all right, but it's, it's actually pretty close. I, I'm actually a little bit surprised. Let me just try re this regular mask now and see if it absorbs anything at all. All right, dripping dry. Oh, I'd say that's about that's about half as much. So it absorbed about it absorbed about half as much as the ShamWow mask. Now let me try the uh, the cheap disposable mask, which is very thin material, by the way. I don't expect it to really absorb that much. Well, there really is like no dripping dry in this one, is there? Oh wow, hardly hardly anything, almost nothing. All right, well, I mean, I guess it's, it, to answer the question is whether it's absorbent or not, it is absorbent. I'll, I'll leave it to you to determine if absorbency is really a, a significant feature for a mask like this, but I can say that if this extraordinarily unscientific test, that it does seem to be somewhat more absorbent than other masks that I tried. I'm not sure this really yields anything meaningful, but, you know, it's, it was fun. If I poked a couple holes in here, I could probably make my own ShamWow mask with an elastic band. Oh, that doesn't smell very good. Maybe not. Someone on Twitter just asked if it was breathable or not, so I, I didn't really check real carefully for that. Let me try real quick before I head out. It seems breathable. Let me, let me cover the sides. It seems breathable compared to these. I will say that this smaller one actually seems to contour my face a little bit better. The ShamWow mask seems a little bit loose. This is very thin, much thinner than the others. So of the three, the, sham, the ShamWow is definitely the heaviest. It definitely feels more loose on the sides though. I'm not sure if tightening the ears would make that better or not because the looseness is here, not up there. That's the thickness of the original ShamWow versus the mask. And of course you have the liner on there as well. See how breathable the original is. That's not very breathable, I don't think. It doesn't smell very good either. I would say it's definitely breathable. But let's head out and give it a real world test. All right, so here we go. Real world test with the ShamWow mask. ShamWow mask, success. All right, well, I've been out. This looks absolutely ridiculous. This looks ridiculous, but I've been out uh, running some errands and I've had my ShamWow mask on. One thing I realized is sometimes it's easy to put the, the ShamWow mask on the other way and so the logo's upside down. I already got someone telling me, hey, your logo's upside down. Not a fan of logo. I also wanted to point out that there seems to be some confusion about the price. It's $30 for two of them, not just one. It's buy one, get one free when you get to the website. If you don't mind spending 30 bucks for two masks, and you don't mind the ShamWow logo across it, actually not that bad. So after spending some time out yesterday with it, I actually, I actually got some people ask me questions about it. I was expecting more ridicule, maybe some snickering because of my big ShamWow logo, but people actually took interest in the mask uh, because it said ShamWow on it. Uh, I think a lot of people think that there's something special about it. Now, of course, the advertising would have you, have you believe there's something special about it, which I'm not really sure is the case 
because I take some of the, the advertising claims with a grain of salt. But there were people that seemed kind of interested in it. Uh, someone did call me Hannibal Lecter, but I, nobody laughed at me in, to my face, so that's, that's a good thing. But really, I mean, when I first saw it, I, th I thought it was a joke, uh, because it just seemed so ridiculous. But if you can put the, the strange novelty of it aside, put the bizarre, politically incorrect commercial aside, put some of their claims uh, with a grain of salt aside, it's really not a bad mask. As long as you don't mind paying 30 bucks for two of them and having that logo across the front, I actually think it's, it's, it's pretty good. I also wanted to point out that I did wash these, and as you can see, they're not really any worse for wear. They might have gotten a little bit wrinklier, but that that's, happens with the regular ShamWells too. Otherwise, it, it held up well in the wash. All right, so this is kind of a fun video to do. I just have one more thing to do before I close this video. But right now, I'm gonna sign off, and I'll see you guys next time.